Hi everyone, this is Offbeat Gyan and I am Deepa. So let us talk about the Cold War. What exactly is the Cold War? The Cold War is a state of tension that came up immediately after the horrifying, devastating Second World War. The Second World War began in 1939 and it went on for six years until mid-August 1945. So, what is the Cold War? It's a period of great tension and fear of another great war after the Second World War came to an end in mid-1945. And the tension was between the two superpowers, the United States of America in the North American continent and the Soviet Union in the European continent. Who coined the term Cold War? George Orwell. British writer, somebody with a vision, somebody who predicted everything that is happening today. That man, George Orwell, coined the term Cold War. So, after the Second World War, there were two superpowers and both of them wanted to establish their supremacy over the world. So, this state of tension or Cold War between the superpowers and their satellites. By satellites, I mean the countries that supported the USA and the USSR. So, this state of Cold War, it began sometime in 1947 and it went on up to 1991. So, if someone asks you what is the period of the Cold War, it is from 1947 to 1991. This here is an image of the world during the Cold War period. Okay, so you can see that the world is divided into reds and blues and of course there are countries like India and uh, most of the African countries which are neither red nor blue. This here is the North American continent, this is the South American continent, this is Africa, this here is Europe and here you have Asia. Okay, this here is Australia. So everything in blue that you find in this blue, they are all supporters of the United States of America. And whatever is there in red, including this tiny pocket that is Cuba, they are all supporters of the USSR or the Soviet Union, including China. This here, this big landmass is China. Now coming to India. India <clears throat> was not part of blue or red. India and all these countries in Africa, some countries in Europe, this here is Mexico, this landmass here, they were all non-aligned. They did not support the USA, they did not support the USSR. So they were non-aligned countries. This here is a map of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics or USSR or Soviet Union. And it comprised of Russia, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Belarus, Moldova, Ukraine, Georgia, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Turkmenistan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. And this was the map of the USSR until 1991. Then things changed. Okay, and now you find that there is a war going on between Ukraine and USSR because Ukraine broke away from this Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. Most of the other countries also broke away from the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. That happened after 1991. Moving on. So, during the Second World War, USA, Britain, Russia and all the British colonies were on one side. Now, India was a British colony until 1947 when we got our freedom. So, Indian soldiers also fought with the British during the Second World War. So, USA, Britain, Russia, they were known as the Allies. And who did they defeat? They defeated Nazi Germany, Italy and Japan or the Axis forces. And Germany was led by Hitler. Italy was led by Mussolini. Japan was led by Emperor Hirohito. 
So the Allies defeated the Axis powers in the Second World War. And soon after the Second World War, the world was divided into three groups or three worlds. The first world or the Western Bloc was led by the USA and its allies or supporters or satellites. The Second World or the Eastern Bloc was led by the Soviet Union or Russia and its allies or satellites. The Third World including India and other non-aligned countries who were not part of the Western or the Eastern Bloc. They were known as the NAM countries, non-aligned movement. They were part of the non-aligned movement which does not exist any longer, which is not functioning any longer. There were no major wars between the Eastern and the Western Bloc, but there was always a state of tension and there were wars being fought in different parts of the world. There was the Vietnam War, the Korean War and the Afghanistan War, occupation of Afghanistan. In all these conflicts, the USA and the USSR were involved. But the thing is, it did not develop into a major conflagration. It did not explode into a third world war. But there was this tension that there is a possibility that it could explode. But that didn't happen, luckily, between 1947 to 1991. So the Western bloc led by the USA was capitalist and the Eastern bloc under USSR was communist. Both the Western and Eastern blocs were engaged in making powerful nuclear weapons. So this was the arms race. And they were also engaged in the space race. Both of them competed to send missions to the moon and into outer space. So they were in a race as to who would send the first man into space. The first man or the first woman, the first dog then a first person to land on space. So this was a race that was going on between the two superpowers, USA and the USSR during the 1950s, 1960s, 1970s and it goes on. It continues even today but on a lesser scale than it was during the Second World War. Sorry, immediately after the Second World War, during the Cold War period. So another term that you will come across in context of the Cold War is Iron Curtain. From 1945 to 1981, there was a political and physical boundary that divided Europe into two different areas of influence. The countries in Eastern Europe were under the influence of USSR. The Western European countries were with the USA. And immediately after the Second World War, West Germany, sorry, Germany was divided into West Germany and East Germany. This here is a map of Europe and you find parts of it in red. That is the Eastern Bloc. This is the countries that were not part of the Eastern Bloc or the Western Bloc. Switzerland, Australia. Sweden, Finland, Yugoslavia, Albania, all these countries, Ireland, they were not part of the Eastern or the Western Bloc. And what you find in this green color, they are all part of the Western Bloc, all capitalist countries, all supporters of the United States of America. And there was this invisible iron curtain running here between the Eastern and the Western Bloc, between the Eastern Bloc and the Western Bloc. So Germany was divided into two parts, East Germany and West Germany. West Germany was capitalist and East Germany was communist nation and both of them they were divided by a physical wall that is the Berlin Wall. The wall was constructed and soldiers were placed on the wall to prevent people from entering into East Germany. From East Germany, people were not allowed to go into West Germany. So there was a wall that divided, physical wall that divided East Germany and West Germany. This here is the Berlin Wall. And over the years, many people tried to escape from East Germany into West Germany 
but you can see soldiers here on both sides and uh, most of them they were not successful they died while crossing the wall they could not jump over the wall because it was very tall families were separated by this berlin wall the berlin wall became a sign of the division of europe into two parts the eastern bloc and the western bloc usa and ussr they were spying on each other and there was a arms race and there were food shortages and scarcity of essential items in the communist bloc countries or in the eastern bloc countries because these countries they were committed to developing nuclear weapons they were developing they were developing these huge nuclear arsenals and their focus was entirely on the industrial development of nuclear weapons and they did not care much about developing infrastructure or uh, agriculture or providing the basic essentials to the people living in them mikhail gorbachev a very important figure in world politics he became the general secretary of the communist party in the united soviet socialist republics in 1995 and he introduced many economic and political changes in the country in order to help the ordinary people what he did was with the intention of helping the ordinary people but then the steps that he introduced led to the breaking up of the ussr so until 1945 for uh, sorry until 1985 foreign companies were not allowed to do business in the ussr or the soviet union but gorbachev introduced perestroika or restructuring and he relaxed the rules this was done so that resources could be used for improving the lives of the ordinary people he also introduced glasnost or openness which granted more freedom to journalists and reduced the power of the communist party eventually this led to the fall of the communist party in the ussr and the various nations in the soviet union declared their independence from the ussr a few remained with russia and they formed the russian federation see this here is the russian federation remember in an earlier slide kazakhstan uzbekistan turkmenistan azerbaijan armenia armenia georgia ukraine all these countries they were part of the ussr but after the fall of communism all these countries they declared their independence they became independent countries they were part of the ussr but they declared their independence and they they are independent countries today and this here is the iconic picture of the people breaking down the berlin wall this was an iconic move, moment in history and uh, people on both sides of the wall they wanted this wall down so there was a huge movement in uh, the western side of the wall and the wall came crashing down in 1989 so the cold war came to an end in 1991 and three events were responsible for that first was the fall of the berlin wall in 1989 the reunification of germany and the disintegration or breaking up of the ussr or the soviet union and the end of communism in eastern europe and russia so that is how the cold war came to an end in 1991 i hope this presentation has made things clearer and i hope it will help you to understand the cold war and what happened during this period so we will meet again next week with another video thank you